Oh, hi. My name is Ella Schiefstein. I'm making this little DVD to speak to you about the hood, the ghetto. Especially my part of the hood, which is southwest Baltimore. I figure a lot of the problems, especially the drug problem, boils down to three primary categories. Category one, poor nutrition. If a child starts out with good medical care and good nutrition, they have a good opportunity to succeed. But when they start out with poor nutrition, they're already lagging behind the game. Then the next factor I consider is creative juices, such as music, art, crafts, and a way to make money with those creative juices. And when a child comes out of their house and all they see is red brick and gray stones and <coughs> excuse me and gray sidewalks, it's pretty hard to be inspiring. But if they come out of their house and they see paintings around, trees, cleanliness, when there's all garbage in the street, how can a child respect themselves when they, the, the neighborhood doesn't show them respect? And the third one, the third factor, is employment, jobs. So, it's a vicious circle. Most people think, get rid of the drugs and the drug, jobs will come back. No. If a guy can get a dollar selling drugs and ten dollars in a good, viable, respectable job, well, take the good, viable, respectable job. So, if you provide the jobs and you provide the training for the jobs, the drugs will naturally go away. Will they ever totally go away? I don't believe so. But the numbers will be less. And young people just coming up will have a better opportunity to make a better choice. So, what is my plan? Well, I started a little fish farm because you can't make a performing arts center with no money and you can't keep a performing arts school running with no money. So my plan is that we'll do green environment and we'll raise tilapia in a green way, urban farming, which will teach urban farming and also create jobs, food processing, trucking, there's a big area there of empty buildings that could very easily be used for this purpose. And then some of the funds from that could support the performing arts school so that these children who are talented and who would like to go to this school could. And it would be very low charge, if not free, so that there could be a lot of professions, a lot of business, that's better than drugs. You offer someone a better choice and they'll usually take it. So I'm asking here today for anyone, anyone to jump on board and to help me with my project. You can reach me at 516-810-5487. This is Ellie Schieferstein asking you to please take an interest in American youth. Thank you.